In Stephen Young's short story, Something in the Woods is Taking People, the author crafts a suspenseful and thought-provoking narrative that delves into the primal fear of the unknown. Through skillful storytelling and vivid imagery, Young explores the theme of human vulnerability in the face of nature's mysteries. The story begins with a sense of foreboding, as the title itself suggests an unsettling mystery lurking in the woods. Young employs an ominous tone from the outset, immediately engaging the reader's curiosity. This choice of title sets the stage for the suspenseful journey that unfolds throughout the narrative. Young introduces us to the protagonist, a retired forest ranger who is recounting a series of unsettling events from his career. This choice of a first-person narrator allows the reader to experience the events through the ranger's perspective, emphasizing the personal and emotional impact of the story. It also establishes a sense of credibility and authority, as the ranger's profession lends weight to his account. As the ranger shares his experiences, Young masterfully builds tension through the gradual revelation of details. The forest, depicted as a vast and enigmatic entity, becomes a character in its own right. Descriptions of the dense foliage, towering trees, and eerie silence create a vivid sense of place, immersing the reader in the unsettling atmosphere of the woods. This setting serves as a metaphor for the unknown aspects of life, symbolizing the mysterious forces that can disrupt our sense of security. The central mystery of the story revolves around the disappearances of several people in the forest. Young expertly maintains a sense of ambiguity, never fully revealing the nature of the threat. This ambiguity heightens the suspense, leaving readers to imagine the horrors that might be lurking in the shadows. It also underscores the idea that some mysteries are never meant to be fully understood, emphasizing the limits of human knowledge and control. The pacing of the narrative is deliberate, with moments of intense action interspersed with moments of quiet reflection. This ebb and flow of tension allows readers to catch their breath before plunging back into the heart-pounding events. The author's use of short, Punchy sentences during intense moments adds to the sense of urgency, while longer, more contemplative passages encourage readers to ponder the deeper implications of the story. One of the story's strengths lies in its exploration of human vulnerability. The ranger, despite his knowledge of the forest and its dangers, is not immune to fear and uncertainty. His vulnerability mirrors that of the missing individuals, highlighting the idea that nature's mysteries can humble even the most experienced and knowledgeable among us. This theme resonates with the broader human experience, as we all confront moments of uncertainty and powerlessness in our lives. Young also touches on the theme of isolation. The forest is depicted as a remote and isolated place, far removed from civilization. This isolation amplifies the character's sense of vulnerability and heightens the eerie atmosphere. It serves as a reminder that there are still uncharted territories in the world, places where we are truly alone and exposed to the unknown. In the end, something in the woods is taking people, leaves readers with more questions than answers. The story does not offer a neat resolution or a clear explanation for the disappearances. Instead, it invites readers to grapple with the idea that some mysteries may remain forever unsolved. It serves as a meditation on the limits of human understanding and the primal fear of the unknown. In conclusion, Stephen Young's Something in the Woods is Taking People, is a masterfully crafted narrative that explores themes of human vulnerability and the mysteries of the natural world. Through vivid imagery, a sense of foreboding, and the use of a first-person narrator, Young immerses readers in a suspenseful and thought-provoking tale. The story's deliberate pacing, ambiguous threat, and exploration of isolation contribute to its overall impact, 
leaving readers with a lingering sense of unease and a deeper appreciation for the mysteries that still exist in the world.